cheese, meat, beans, bread. Hey, letter E. What else is supposed to go in this soup? Ten eggs. Okay. Cheese, meat, beans, bread, ten eggs. What else? Beets. Okay. Cheese, meat, beans, bread, ten eggs, beets. What else? Peas. Cheese, meat, beans, ten eggs, breads, beets, peas. Next, an eel. Ooh. Wait a second, letter E. Do these things even go together? Meat and beans and cheese? Hey, are we just making a soup filled with food that has the letter E? Sneaky, sneaky. Letter E was trying to get me to make a soup with food that has the letter E. Let's learn more about letter E before we decide about this soup. I bet you remember that vowels can say their letter names. Letter names are long sounds. This is the letter E. This letter can say its letter name to make a long sound. E. We call this sound long E. Practice making the long E sound. Can you make the sound with me? E. 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 We open our mouth really wide like we're smiling for the camera. <gasps> Say cheese. Cheese. Can you think of any words with a long E sound in them? E. E. How about eagle? Say it with me. Eagle. Do you hear the long E sound at the beginning of the word? E. I don't want an eagle in my soup. How about eel? Do you hear the long E sound at the beginning? Eel. Long E can also come at the end of words. How about the word tree? Tree. Do you see how my mouth smiles at the end? Just like we're saying cheese for the camera. Tree. How about bee? Bee. Long E can be found in the middle of words too. Oh, like the word deer. Say it with me. Deer. Do you hear the E sound in the middle? I know you see my big smile when I make the long E sound. Deer. What other words have the long E sound in the middle? Hmm. Wheel, meat, leaf, seal, beach, beans. Beans would be okay in our soup, I think. Vowels can say their names to make their long sounds, but they can make short sounds too. We know that the long E sound is E. Do you know the short sound for this letter? Short E makes the sound E. Make the sound with me. E. E. When I make this sound, I think of those ten eggs. We know that e is a vowel sound because the sound is coming from the middle of our mouth. But let's take a closer look at how to make this sound. Do you remember short i, 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 i? That sound was almost entirely closed or zipped up. For short a, we opened our mouth big enough to take a bite of an a, a, apple. For the short E sound, my mouth is open a 
bit more than it was when we made the short zip, i, i, i sound, but not open enough to take a bite of an a, ah, a, ah, apple. It's right in the middle, e, e, e. Practice making the sound with me, e, e, e. The sound e reminds me of Goldilocks. Short I is too small. I, I, I. Short A is too big. Ah, ah, ah. But E, E, E in the middle is just right. Good idea, Goldilocks. I wonder if we could make porridge instead of that soup. So, can you think of any words with a short E sound? E? Hmm, how about those 10 eggs? Do you hear the short E sound at the beginning of the word? Eggs. Say it with me. Eggs. What's another word with short E at the beginning? E, E, E. Elephant. Say it with me. Elephant. Short E isn't always at the beginning of words. It can be found in the middle of words too. Oh, like the word chef. I'm being a chef today. Say it with me. Chef. Do you hear the S sound in the middle? What about bread? Do you hear the S sound in the middle? Bread. That could go well with our cheese. What other words have the short E sound in the middle? Hmm. Desk. Sled. Tent. Well. Bell. Vest. Let's practice making our long E and short E sounds. I'm going to make the sound three times. Then you can make the sound three times. Let's do long E first. E, E, E. Keep repeating after me. E, E, E. <laughs> nice job. How about short E? Repeat after me. E, E, E. Keep repeating after me. E, E, E. When we start reading, we have to remember that when we see the letter E, it could be making its long E, E sound, but it could also be making its short E, E sound. Let's practice saying words and listening to sounds so we can hear the difference. I'll show you a picture. You can say the word. Let's do this one first. Hmm, what are they? Seeds. What sound do you hear? Long E or short E? Say it with me. Seeds, E. That's long E. Remember, it's like we're saying cheese for the camera. Seeds, cheese. What about chest? Chest. Do you hear long E or short E? Chest. Eh. That's short E. Remember Goldilocks? Our mouth isn't zipped up like I. Eh but it isn't open enough for an apple like ah either. It's right in the middle. Eh, eh, eh. Let's practice with some more words. Teeth. That's long E, E. Belt. That's short E, eh, eh, eh. Peach. That's long E, E. Shell. That's short E, eh, eh, eh. Sleep. That's long E, 
E hen. That's short E. Eh eh eh. Sheep. That's long E. E fence. That's short E. Eh eh eh. Web. That's short E. Eh eh eh. Geese. That's long E. E. Nest. That's short E. Eh, eh, eh. We learned that letter E can make a long sound, like the E in cheese, or a short sound, like the E eh in bread. So come here, letter E. Letter E, let's forget about your sneaky soup and just have some cheese and bread. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Keep practicing these two sounds and keep an ear out for any E or E sounds you hear. And don't forget to always be clever.